So a friend of mine's been and dropped this off and asked me if I can make him uh, a couple of these. And what it is, it's an adapter. It uh, screws on the end of a rifle barrel on a 2.2. That's uh, M9 by 0.75 in there. And that is a 28 uh, UNF. Which is no good to him because he's moderator that screws on the end. So that bit screws on into the barrel. The moderator screws on there, and the moderator is 20 UNF. So apparently he wants two. I think he said a friend of his wants one as well. So that's what we're going to try and do. Don't know how successful we'll be, but we've got a bit of bar of the unknown variety. So I've got an idea how I'm going to do it. At, uh, at the end of this it'd be interesting to know what you boys think whether I've done it right, wrong, indifferent or what <clears throat> but I'd be more interested if anybody's got any suggestions of a better way of doing it but anyway we'll do it my way to start with and we'll see where we get to so we'll just uh, Start by cleaning up this bit of bar. Huh? Bit of mystery steel, like it normally is. <laughs> somewhere about there. Oh dear. Oh, it takes a long way down when you get older. So we'll set a zero there. For a start, I think I'm just going to turn it to a rough side. I want it to finish. Uh, and then, uh, I want it to finish it at around 600 diameter. So, so I'm going to turn this outside down. Somewhere close, we're going to centre drill and drill, and a little bore's got to go in there. And I'm going to thread it M9 by 0.75. I'm going to pull it off, he says. It was about 160 thousand, about. Uh, no, 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 don't do that now. I want to leave it about 650, so 764, so that's 114. So take about 57 thousand off it altogether on the dial.
Right, we'll try again. I'll just uh, just move you around a bit. We're only taking 20 thou off in each pass. We're doing 330 on the ramps and that's six thou on the feed. Might be a little bit quick price speed still, but yeah, it seems to be doing it. and then have a quick measure. think on this actually. So that's got to finish at 600. So we're 50 thou over which I'm alright because I want to uh, rough it out just to rough it out for the time being. Now this bit on here are we back of it? This collar it's basically just a thread potato thing I think. Or they can put it on when they're uh, shooting without the mod on. I was going to drill this end and then tap it. Oh, you. <coughs> Back in a minute. Right, yeah, so as I was saying, what have I done with the bit now? So, my plan was to drill this and pull that little oh, can we see pull that little counter bore in. So drill it, counter bore it and thread it for this M9. And I was going to do two pieces like that. Uh, I'll part them off. And then what I was going to do is put another short piece of bar in here and turn that down and thread that M9 and then literally screw that on there so it would run concentric with the lathe and then I would be able to do this machining on this end. But I'm thinking that that thread in there is not not very butch, is it, to say the least. So this end now that has to be 20 UNF, half inch by 20 UNF, I think I'm going to thread that on here and then do the same with the other bit. And when both pieces are done, we'll put another bit of bar in there and we'll or put a, an internal 20 UNF thread in it so that we can then screw this into there which should be a good bit stronger uh, which will enable us to just machine this end up drill, bore and uh, thread that in. So that's my plan. So the distance that we've got to go for that is So we want 470 thou in from that end there. So we touch off there. Zero this. Just come out a bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 60. So we'll machine that bit there. 
This is going to be half inch UNF, so we'll do that to a half inch. And we're six, oh, we want at least 50 off it, don't we? And we'll touch it off. Zero the colour. See if we can machine this down and put a bit of thread on this end though. Eh? I think it'll be a stronger way to do it than, than what I was originally thinking. Let's take a couple of 15 power passes each time. Let's take this 20 pound pass and then we'll just take a quick measure. threads per inch is where are we? C3. Right. Just uh, touch off there. Actually, zero this one first, don't I? I'm most probably going to run a die on this, but 
we'll just uh, see how we go here. Just a little scratch cut. Looks good. We'll just slow things down a bit. <coughs> oh dear. Wind it in a little bit, the camera I mean. Hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit better. I'm just going to keep going until, uh, until it looks like a thread. <laughs> and then we'll run the die down. Oh dear. Hey, you know what happened there, don't you? That's what happens when you put the cut on with the cross slide instead of the top. Might have balls that up actually. Let's just see what happens as we get a bit closer in. Sometimes redeem yourself a little bit if you're lucky. Just starting to not normally the way I thread. I think I just sort of confuse myself slightly. What I'm doing, I'm, I've got the top slide set at 29 degrees and I should keep bringing the, the cross slide to zero and putting the cut on with the top slide and what I did, I've got out to uh, 20 thou on the, on the top slide and then when I threaded along and pulled out and went back to the start again I went to 25 but I put it straight on the cross slide as opposed to the top slide so that's where the uh, balls up happen. But I don't think we can redeem it there, to be honest. Not gonna work. 
Kiitos. cut this off and do another bit. Right, take two. <laughs> we'll try again, shall we? Let me get you in a bit closer. It'll stay in focus. Right, one other mistake I also got wrong was uh, the top slab was only set at uh, 15 degrees. Hmm. So it was a mile out. And uh, mind that in there. And I swear blind that dog of mine's been laughing at me. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. Right. That's looking a bit more like it, isn't it? Turn this die around. Well, I thought for a minute that I could actually cut them too deep, 
but when you uh, get that on there halfway up it's actually not a bad fit so I think all we need to do is just take a little bit out of here just so that it threads up to the shoulder This other one is a bit different now, isn't it? That screws up to the shoulder. There's a little bit more thread on the original one, lot, but this is a stronger thread, so we'll go with that, I think. And uh, hmm, we'll see. I'll have to do it, I think. We'll just wrong one. We'll just take these raggy bits off. Do I need to do anything else for that end? No, because it can be drilled straight through, can't it? Right. Cut it off. Nothing scientific about this bit. I'll do it just a smidgen longer than what the other one is. That should do. See if we can cut it up. Get the camera a bit. Not sure, is it? That's better. All right, we'll give that a whirl.
Right, so that's that. So we'll make another one of them off of. I won't film making the other one now. So there's not hardly any rock in that. So my idea is, is you see, we're, we're way too long here. But I'm thinking that when that's uh, screwed in, in fact, what I should have done, I should have machined that level with that end while it's on there, shouldn't I? Hmm. I'll have to have a think about that. Right, onwards and upwards.